Hello, my friends. I am Pastor Mark, and I'm bringing you our latest children's Bible story, all about Joseph, son of Jacob. You remember our last story was Joseph. He was a little arrogant because God had told him he'd be doing something special someday. So his brothers threw him in a pit. They intended to be violent with him. All except Reuben, who said, I'll rescue you later, Joseph. Oh, but guess what? Instead of being violent with him, there was a caravan that was going through Israel down to Egypt. Now, do you know what a caravan is? I'll show you a picture of a caravan. This is by Sergei Pesterev from Unsplash. I want to give him a shout out. Back before roads, back before cars, a lot of travel was done with camels in desert areas. They could go a long way without needing water. And they were strong animals, so you could put a lot of goods on their back. They were essentially trucks in this era in the desert. While this caravan is going by, while Joseph is in the pit and his brothers are still around, and one of them says, I got a great idea. Why don't we take this little arrogant punk kid, Joseph, who's who's the favorite of dear old dad, we can sell him as a slave to this caravan. Yeah, real nice. You're doing this to your brother? This is pretty demented. And then what we can do is take his coat and we'll kill a lamb and we'll pour the blood on his coat. And we'll tell dad that a wild animal attacked him, and he was killed. And so Joseph was sold into slavery. And his brothers did a great job of play acting. They brought his coat filled with blood, and they brought it to Dad, Jacob. They said, oh, Dad, we feel so badly. Joseph was attacked by a wild animal, and he was killed. All that's left of him is this bloody coat. And of course, he was Jacob's favorite, which I still have a problem with having favorites among your children. But Jacob grew very, very sad. He went into a deep depression. And Joseph now couldn't make up his own mind about life. Joseph was now a slave. He had to do what his owners demanded of him. And this caravan carried him all the way to the land of Egypt. Now, Egypt, if you don't know, is in North Africa. Egypt is one of the most ancient of civilizations. Now, how in the world can you be chosen by God to do something great, but then be assaulted by your brothers, be sold as a slave, and be forced to take this long journey all the way down to Egypt as a slave. Does this make any sense to you? It's difficult for me to make any sense out of this. But remember, God always gets God's way. If God says, Joseph is going to be great, his brothers will eventually bow down to him. Well, that is going to happen. Even though it doesn't look it right now. Things look pretty bleak for Joseph. Have you ever been in a tough situation? 
Have you ever thought, oh, life can't get any worse? Have you prayed about it? Have you been doing what God wants you to do? See, God watches out. God protects us when we're doing what God wants us to do. Now, if we're doing stuff God doesn't want us to do, well, all bets are off. We can't expect God's protection. But Joseph had this promise from God. He's now endured violence. He is now a slave. But God is still calling the shots. God is still writing the script. God has promised Joseph someday he will be ruler over his brothers. I don't know whether he believed it or not, but I've seen situations like this. Sometimes the darkest, darkest moments wind up bringing about the best outcomes. What's our job? To obey God, to do God's will. And we'll let God sort out the details. Some of the worst times in life wind up bringing the best blessings. No, not right away. Not in the next minute, not in the next hour. Sometimes it takes months or years. But it does happen. Trust God in good times. Trust God in bad times. Always strive to do what God wants you to do. And that's our lesson from Joseph today. I hope you enjoyed this. Oh, I guess my cat Puma wants to get in on this. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope you share it, comment on it, like it. Spread word to your friends. I want every kid in the world to listen to these stories. This is Pastor Mark wishing you God's greatest blessing.